What I have for you here is a video from a couple of years ago. This is at the park across the street from my house. These are a bunch of AP students who were visiting for the review. So what happens is, you, they pull in their arms, right? And so the angular velocity, the moment of inertia, just like I did here, the moment of inertia decreases and the angular velocity increases, right? So what we're going to do, actually this could just for me, sorry, just to me. I want to ask this question. If you'll notice in the video, three out of the four students pull in their arms, and one is stuck out. Why is it that after three out of the four have pulled in their arms, that the fourth one has a harder time pulling themselves in? So remind me, what happens when, they, when the three of them pull themselves in? Moment of inertia goes down, so the angular velocity goes up. Acceleration. So the centripetal acceleration of the person increases, right, because their angular velocity is greater. So in order to pull themselves in, they actually have to apply a greater force because that centripetal force is increased. So once the three have pulled themselves in, the fourth one actually gets stuck on the outside because they're actually spinning faster. So it's harder for him to pull himself in because it takes a larger centripetal force because they're actually spinning faster. Do they speed up or slow down when he falls off? Uh, when he falls off, they actually shouldn't change. Okay. Because he actually takes that energy with him when he okay. leaves. But wouldn't he need less mass though? Mass right, but he, he takes that mass, he takes all that with him. So he actually doesn't change it. 